you ever find yourself walking through a casino and wondering, what is that dice game where the group of people are all crowded around that big table where they're all screaming and cheering and high-fiving each other? And how do you play? Well, this is a quick introduction to the game of craps. Okay, so here's a basic craps table. It can be a little overwhelming and might seem complicated at first, so let's break it down to some basic key components. First off, there are two dealers, one on the left and one on the right, and their job is to maintain each half of the table and handle the bets of the players. Then, on the opposite side of the table, in the center, is the stick person. Their job is to control the dice. They collect and pass the dice to the player when it's time to shoot. And also handling all the prop bits, which are all those dice looking combinations in the center of the table, but we'll get to that later in another video. The stick man is also responsible for keeping an eye on the dealers and making sure that they are paying the players correctly. Now, directly across from the stick person, and is usually sitting down, in between the two dealers is the box person. Their job is to oversee the dealers and the stick man as well as keeping a close eye on the dice when they're out in the hands of the players. Insider tip, you may notice mirrors along some of the table walls, which is useful for the box man to make sure that the shooters are not doing anything sneaky with the dice, especially when the player has their hands down inside the table. Also, the box person is in charge of counting the incoming cash and outgoing chips when players leave and arrive at the table. They're also the one who watches the player's betting amounts throughout the game and handles the data info to your casino comps. And of course, we have the players. Each side of the table, left and right of the stick man, can have a up to seven players. Although sometimes it can get a little cozy and you can forget about your personal space. Here's a quick tip on approaching a table. Feel free to walk up and watch any craps table. But be mindful of what's going on and who is throwing the dice. If you distract someone about the shoot and they end up sevening out, that's a quick way of making a lot of enemies around the whole table. An advanced tip here. When approaching a new table, take a look around at all the players' stacks of chips. If everyone is with the small amounts of chips, you may want to think twice before jumping into that particular game. You don't want to jump in during the middle of a game. So you're going to want to wait until you notice that the puck is in the off position. Now to buy in to get your chips, just place your cash money down on the table right in front of you. And if you have a player's card, just go ahead and throw that down there too. Then the dealer will take your money, spread it out over in the center of the table in front of the box man. The box man will also take your player's card and enter you into the system. And will eventually return your card back to you and usually along with a pleasant greeting. Then the dealer will place down your chips and slide them over in front of you. At that point, you can reach down and pick them up and place them into your chips rack. But just try not to knock over your chips in front of everybody. Sometimes your hands might be a little shaky from being too nervous. Another tip, you will never physically hand over money or bets directly from your hand to the dealer's hand. That's a big no-no. They will always tell you to just put it down on the table and then they'll pick it up. Remember, there's lots of cameras right above your head for a reason. A few table etiquette tips. Unless you're actually reaching down to place a bet or picking up chips, keep your hands out of the table area. You don't want to become that guy where your hands dangling or you have a cigarette or you have a drinks hanging over and then the dice are thrown. Ugh. Oh, sorry. Seven out. So while you're playing, you are able to smoke or have a drink, but you cannot have your phone. If you need to text or use your phone, just take a step back away from the table. There's also a small shelf on the outside of the table next to your legs for keeping your drinks and other stuff. Before we get into any of the betting details, let's understand the basics of the dice. You get two dice. Each die has the number one through six on it. You'll notice that for every number you look at, if you add it to the number on the opposite side, it always totals seven. So if you have a one, 
the opposite side will always be 6, which equals 7. If you see a 2, the opposite side will be a 5, and so on. Okay, let's look at the possible dice combinations. We know that with two dice, with six sides, that if you do the math, that means we have 36 different combinations. There's only one way to roll a two, which is with a pair of ones. On the other end of the spectrum, there's only one way you can roll a 12, and that's with a pair of sixes. Side note, when you roll a pair of something, that is also known as a hard way. So the pair of ones might be called a hard two, or the pair of sixes might be called a hard 12. There are only two ways to roll either a three or an 11. As you can see here in the chart, for a three, you can either a one and a two, or the combination of two and a one for a total of three. Same with the 11, a five and a six, or a six and a five. Continuing down, there are three ways to roll a four or a 10, and four ways to roll a five or a nine, and five ways to roll a six or an eight. But the most common combination possible with two dice, with six different ways to roll it, is the number seven. And this is the basis of how the casino, also known as the house, will have the advantage over the average player. So that's the end of part one of our intro to craps. We've covered some of the fundamentals of the dice and components of the game. In part two, we'll learn what the different bets are on the table. And in part three, we'll put it all together and try a sample game. I want to pause and thank my dear friend Rose for hanging out and helping us with the craps table. You can find her on Instagram at CallieRose.SF. If you enjoyed this video, or learned a little bit, or perhaps just here to be entertained, go ahead and click that like button and feel free to leave me a comment. I'll see you at the table in part two.